Hey, it did work. Huh. Okay, mom. Mm. Mom, you're not that you're not that famous yet. You can take a selfie while you're on while you're live, okay? I wasn't, I wasn't taking, taking a selfie. selfie. Oh, Jesus. All right. Uh So, I think we're live. I'm looking here. I see the stream. Uh I see that we both are we're on the overlay. Um it looks like we're good. Uh, what do you say to everybody? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Hey, Mom, say something. Make sure everyone can hear you. Hello, Midwitz fans. All right. <laughs> right. Right now you'll see her playing with her phone, and she puts it down, and I said hello. And let's see. People are hearing you. Can see and hear, but she's echoing. Well, come on. Have I, have. <laughs> um, I don't know. How bad is the echo? Is it something that I should try and fix or just screw it? <laughs> like a turn off on the B2 and turn off on that. You should... Am I echoing or is she echoing? Hi, Mama Marsh. Hello from the Hi. other side. <laughs> Hello from the other side. <laughs> David says aliens. Hey there. I'm, I'm not, not an alien. alien. I'm, I'm just, just old. <laughs> She's not an alien. She's just old. I think <laughs> the echo is feedback from no headphones. Ah. Uh, yeah, Mom, you don't have any headphones. You're being a bad girl. Oh, well. Um, I can get some. Uh, yeah, if you want to, that's fine. I mean, we're just okay. messing around. We're just we're we're just bullshitting. But uh, maybe if we can see if the echo goes away, that'd be good. So while she does that, uh, uh, I don't know anything else. We're hearing you guys are hearing me okay. Um, so. Uh, I think everything seems like it's good. Um, what else? What else? What else? Up to everyone else. Yay, Mike, you fixed it. Well, I certainly figured something out. Uh, well, thank you. Uh, I'll take half a cheer. At least it may be like half a cookie right now. Turn B for her mm -hmm. input. It's not headphones. Turn B off for her input. Oh, because of the B is going. Uh. Oh, I yeah, I think I understand what you mean. I could either do that, or say something, Mom. Hi, everybody. I'll bet you the echo went away on that one. I just turned the volume down on the desktop audio for uh, OBS. I'll bet you that's what it was. So hopefully that fixed it. Uh, and if it did, then we can ask mom a bunch of questions. You know what? I am going to let, if this works. Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm going to do this, too. <laughs> Yay. All right. So uh, as soon as I get confirmation that, that we're, mom, Mama Marsh isn't echoing, Mama, say something else. Hi, Mike. Hi. I know you're getting her through OBS and voice meter. Uh so it sounds like all right, awesome, sweet. See, Pete, it's just it's a uh, you know I'm a what, what did I what, what did I say earlier this week? I'm a I'm a kinesthetic learner. <laughs> That's not funny, man. Um, okay. Two heads are better than one, even if one is a cabbage head. Yeah, well, I have a head for a cabbage. I know. Um, here's here's what we're gonna do, uh, Ma. Yes. And, and you know. It, I, I cannot guarantee the uh, the accuracy of this story, but I'm gonna let you, Mom. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this out there. If you wanna if you wanna pick a story, any story, you know, there's probably I know there's tons you can think of, but whichever one, I'm gonna let you tell any story you want. Uh, and and you tell it right now in your own words, and I will let you tell the whole thing, and then I'll uh, I'll I'll cry fake news. But anyway, yeah, go ahead. 
You mean about you? Yeah. People want to know what I was like as a little kid, but, uh, well, obviously, you, you know, Jonathan, that that's where the story is coming from. And it's not going to be like our, the conversation we had last week. So go ahead, Mom. Go ahead. Do, give give okay. me your best shot. One day, I didn't feel well at work. I decided to leave early. And on the radio, on the way home, they said that it was energy week and schools were closed. Well, Mr. Mike didn't tell me about it. Oh, so I go, I go home and I try to get in my house. And there were two locks to the house. And as soon as I opened one lock to put the key in the other lock, the top lock would lock again. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to lock me out of the house. Well, anyway, I said a few things I can't repeat on the radio. Open the fucking door. Exactly. <laughs> and so he opened the door and he knew he was it. He thought his ass was grass just because he played hooky, right? Wrong. <laughs> he didn't even know the schools were closed. <laughs> Yes. He played hooky on a day that schools were open, I mean, yes. closed, and he didn't even know it. Yeah. So, uh, God, how did I know you were going to tell that one? I just knew it. Oh, I knew it was coming. So, yes, I, uh, in my ultimate wisdom, uh, listen, it was a Monday morning, okay? I was feeling a little too good. I was, uh, hold on a second here. I was feeling a little too good to go to school that day. What, was your girlfriend over too? No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, no. This is the girlfriend of the time. No, I don't even think I was that <laughs> astute, mom. I'm, you know, yeah, I was not a, I was a late bloomer when it comes to that. So, but you know, anyway, no, uh, well, you know what? I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, uh, I didn't know it was Energy Conservation Week, and uh, mom kept calling the house, and I'm like, I ain't going to answer that fucking phone. I'm not supposed to be here, so why would I answer the phone? Uh, so, uh, yeah, I didn't answer the phone and, um, the next thing I know she comes pulling up. Now you have to understand where I was is like, I'm, I got the teeth now. I mean, you know, we were, we were not, uh, made of money, right? I don't know. Did we even have a color TV? If we did, I don't know if it was down. I don't know where a color TV was, but, um, I think I had, I had certain, uh, fail safes in place. In case just such an emergency would happen, I only – there was like a black and white television. It was sitting like in the living room for a, for a while, and it was just little – sitting right on this desk. And I, I made some, uh, I don't know, mac and cheese or something, and I'm just sitting there on the couch, you know, and, and I'm just, I'm just you know, I'm eating and ah, doing my thing. And, and uh, all of a sudden, I hear her pull up, and I'm like <gasps> – so I run into the kitchen and I throw all my crap into the into the bowl, you know, into the sink. And then I, I literally, I literally, if you can imagine this, I, I like, I went around it in two circles. I like chased my tail twice going, oh my God, I don't know what I'm going to do. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I? And then she's walking up and I'm like, huh, what am I going to do? And like, I didn't get the idea until you put the key in the door and I'm like, oh, I walked through the door. I'm like, literally, how bad is it that you're like, all right, if she doesn't see me. You know, if I don't, if I hide my eyes, she can't see me. You know, if I just do this, she'll go away, right? It's her own, it's her goddamn house. But uh, yeah, so that was, that was that. Now, the only one other part of this story that is, that is better. And uh, that is that <laughs> she made me call my dad, right? And she's like, you're going to call your father and you are going to tell him what you did. And so I was like, oh, so she's like, Bernie, Bernie, listen to me, listen to me. Did, it's energy concert. No, no. What is he saying? Your, your son, your son was cutting school. He has to tell you something. He, he cut school today, but it was energy conservation week. And all of a sudden, all I know is she puts the phone. She's like this. And I hear him just. <laughs> and he's laughing his ass off. And I'm like. <laughs> so. So, yeah, that's that. That was my side of the story. But uh, that was that. So, yeah, you get you definitely was a good story. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mama Marsh grew up in the 60s. Sue, Sue ever hot the Mary time. <laughs> what the hell? Pete said, Mama Marsh grew up in the 60s. Sue ever hot the Mary Jane. I don't mean, I, you know, autocorrect that shit. 
I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be reading what the hell. I don't know what the hell you guys are talking about. That's a nasty. You guys. All right. So um, I like the fact that he locked the door after she opened. Oh, yeah. No, it was like the top lock, bottom lock, top lock, bottom lock. And uh, I think the best part was, Mom, that because you were you said that uh, you were you were like you weren't feeling well. So that was the worst part of the whole thing. Right. Right. And I had all these bundles from work. You know, yeah. my, I had my eight track player. <laughs> oh, dear. I had a big purse and a, a big a, a bunch of bags. And uh, I wasn't ready for that at all. Do you remember what I said to you? Uh, get away from me before. before I open kill this you. goddamn door. No, you now. said open the fucking door or unlock the fucking door. <laughs> yeah. Oh and, no, mom! Mom never no, mom. You uh, well, oh, oh, you know what, mom? You know, what, what do you have to lose, right? You're not going to be running for president anytime soon, are you? No. All right. So, uh, there seems to be a little debate that have you ever, uh, have you ever partaken yes. in the Mary Jane? You smoked the ganj? Ever? Absolutely. God damn right she did. Boom, boys. My mom <laughs> was a player. All right. <laughs> Well, a little bit of a player. <laughs> Tom and Jerry. Uh, yes, yeah, she did. She hit the Mary Jane. Uh, oh, hey, Andre. We're just, hey, we're just uh, having a nice little interview with my mom. Pete couldn't make it tonight. He, uh, well, I don't know if you ever, you know, there was, there's, we've been testing some stream stuff. Uh, but hello, um, and uh, mom. I don't know if you remember Andre Krupa. He's uh, he's a guy that he's a he runs games that are uh, real scary. I know you've watched. Mom mom watches all the shows. By the way, um, there's That's not right. a show that she doesn't watch because well, hey, it's my mom. Um, she's I you know I don't know, I, and I don't want to start a fight over this, but I don't know who is Mythwit's number one fan. I honestly don't know if it's David or my mom. Like it's it's kind of freaky. I don't know what what which one would be. So uh, we can be co-owners of that title. Well, that's you two need to work that out, or or maybe, um, dare I say, I don't think either one of us <laughs> wants to see any kind of mud wrestling or uh, anything like that from either one of you two. <laughs> that would be a sight. Yes. Uh, so yes, um, on, uh, so yeah, but I don't know if you remember, we had Andre on, he, he does, um, the, the, the games where, uh, it's a lot of ambiance and he does lighting and, um, and it's like, uh, Cthulhu, you remember, uh, you know, you know I about remember. The, the Cthulhu, I remember Andre. Oh, well, there you go, Andre, she remembers you. I knew she would. So, um, talented guy that he is, um, we were all talking about trying to get up to uh, the next one, time we go to TotalCon next year. We all want to try and get up early, and if Andre would do a game for me, Pete, and a couple of other people who are going to be there. I think uh, Spence. <gasps> Where is Spence? Oh, my God. Somebody. Get Spence in here. Um, yeah, other than that, um, yeah, we'd like to do that. So, uh, well, we'll talk to you about it, Andre. Um, yeah, I don't uh, – but, like, uh, real, just real quick, you know, again, Pete um, – had a had a, a little scare. He was at the hospital last night. He's doing great. He's fine. He actually went to work today. He's a trooper, but he was very tired. And uh, he said, "Let's not do the show." Well, I said, "I got to get my stuff working," which I meh, mostly got it working. Um, and then uh, mom was helping me, so I thought I'd have her on the show. And so, again, being our number one fan. Hey, uh, Mike. Yes. I'm so old. I saw Pink Floyd in concert in Baltimore. Oh, well, yeah? actually, at the Capitol Center. Oh. And there was a lot of Mary Jane there. Well, yeah. Were you uh, were you sitting with Mary Jane? No, actually, uh, I was sitting elsewhere. Oh, with uh, L.S. and uh, was it Leslie and David there? <laughs> I don't LS know. <laughs> LSD? No. Oh, uh, you weren't sitting with the. Uh, you you weren't like a heroin user, Mom. Oh, come on. No. Oh, okay. No. You do a little, uh... I'm old, but I'm not stupid. Little, uh, little mom, you know. 
I didn't need it. I got turned on by life. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh hey, uh, hey Renee, Libby, how are you? <laughs> I'm happy. You know, just when I think, ah, you know, no one's gonna be jumping on. I'll be just, uh, I'll just let it go. And then <laughs> Renee has to lo- go in, see me talk to my mom about doing coke. Hey, this is the kind of show. This is a good family-oriented show we have here. Um. Let's see. Uh, Jonathan says we're there. Lots of well, were there lots of bricks in the wall at the concert? Mike's mom. Uh, and people are saying hi, Renee. I can't remember that. Oh Jesus! I, I do remember. <laughs> Go ahead. Keep going. I do remember going out to get some beers. And uh, I had, for some of the other people that I was with, and I had a beer in each hand. Oh, I know this story. Oh, God. Yeah. And uh, I had more guys put their hands down my blouse than I I had in my entire life, just that one concert. (laughs) Mom, I I, I need you to just say, hashtag me too. Uh, <laughs> just just say it mom just just get it out there just it's okay no, let it go Please. i enjoyed it oh dear. oh shit you heard it here first folks <laughs> i think i'm gonna be sick but anyway all right uh <laughs> exactly oh uh, yeah all right well you know it's not it's not uh if she uh and that's all i'm gonna say so um yeah uh so mom uh yes, what else what else any anything else any f- other interesting stories you want to say what I've, about you oh uh me uh yeah sure well the best thing your father and i ever did together was make you <laughs> okay i uh <laughs> okay <laughs> oh gosh Wow. Oh, I'm giving you a compliment. You're a great guy. I'm proud to be your mom. <laughs> really? Because yeah. I, I feel like you're gagging me. Oh, you're just immature, that's all. Oh, yeah. Well, you're just finding <laughs> that out, huh? <laughs> no, now, you can ask me a question. Me? Yeah. Well, I... <laughs> or anybody else. Hey, if anybody wants to know anything about him, ask a question. Well, there you go. Now's your chance. <laughs> Yes, my, yeah, David definitely wants more stories. Yes, Pete, and I'm not going to touch that. <clears throat> Pun not intended. Hashtag. Yes, it was. Um, so, no, uh, we're not going to talk about that story. No. Um, anyway, uh, I don't know. What stories? What stories? Why, start, ask a question, and I'm sure it'll bring up a story. Um, I don't know what the hell they are, Jonathan, but I don't even want to touch that either. Yeah, low bar for sure. Um, Thanks. Let's see. Let's see, Mom. What stories? I mean, I mean, we could just talk about out, just our adventures together. We guys, we lived on a farm for a year, out in Sparks, Maryland. I uh, I used to have to get up at five o'clock, and yeah, this is me talking. I had to get up at uh, five o'clock in the morning, and I had to go let the the horses out and water the all five bu- buckets eight years old i'm carrying five gallon buckets of water into like seven or eight horse stalls and hay and i think i had to what from, about the damn goats the damn goats yeah oh god i hated those goats tell them about dennis the goat i don't know I don't, you know what i what it a lot of people just perked up but i don't even remember this so <laughs> Why don't you tell us about Dennis the goat? Well, Michael was told repeatedly not to bend over when the goats were around. (laughs) Oh, I'm calling fake news right now. Nah, he bent over and Dennis butted him right in the rear and knocked him about 10 feet. Okay. All right. First of all, all right. (laughs) You say what? All right. First of all, uh, we're going to, we're going to. Mike keeps avoiding the stubborn, hard head makes Mike stories. Okay, first of all, yeah, goats, I know. But all right, all right. <laughs> uh, uh, first, all right, my recollection is, okay, see, when I went to school, 
All right, hold on here. I got to let me uh, put this in there. When I went to school, I had to walk across an, the entire field, like, you know, with pasture to get to the, and, and then walk around to the bus stop. Now, one day I was walking home back across the field after I got dropped off at the bus stop. And I'm walking through the field and I was mm, 30, well, I don't know. You know, I mean, and I'm going to try and be generous, but I was like maybe 20 or 30 yards from the fence line to the house, right? And I just turn around and I look, and it wasn't a goat. I don't know about, not, I don't know nothing about no Dennis the goat. All I know is about. That's why you have a goatee? No, no. It was a bull. There was a bull in the field. And I turned and I looked and I saw this goat. I mean, I saw this. Damn you, mom. I saw this, this bull. <laughs> And it's staring, and it was doing the thing where it was just like, you know, and, and like just, just trying, I mean, getting ready to, to charge. And, of course, you know, I mean, knowing what I know now, I probably would have just been like, I'm just going to stay still. I mean, unless it then started charging. But what did I do? As soon as it started doing that, I turned and ran. Well, this, this motherfucker started running after me and running and running, and I am running and running and running. And I even, like, as I'm running, it was like one of those, like, movie things. It felt like in, in my mind, in my memory, and that's all that matters, really, I, I was, like, flung my book hit my book bag off my back, and I was, like, threw it over the fence. And who – let's face it, guys. I'm, I was not I was not that uh, coordinated. Anyway, I don't know how it happened, but I was halfway over the fence. And that bull knocked me like flying over that fence ten feet. So uh, that's the story, madam. I'll know nothing about no goat. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. I mean, there's a joke about a goat, but we're not going to go there. We're not going to go there. Okay. <laughs> oh, that explains his love of furries. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> Screw you. Uh, don't even think of that. <laughs> Didn't even think of that. So good. Uh, he walked around the entire field uphill five miles each way in four feet of snow. <laughs> oh, no, but there was this day it was foggy, and, like, I was trying to get to the bus, and I walked – like, when you're in that pea soup thick fog, I was, like, literally, like, all the way on the opposite side of where the bus stop was, and we had to, like – I had to run to catch the bus. Um, but let's see, I have Matador Mike. So yeah, uh, th but the, there were tons of goats there and that I hated the goats. It was just nasty. They were nasty. That's still like probably why I don't like goat cheese and just everything smells like a goat's ass. So you, you got that close to Dennis. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there are Sorry. some, there are some goat stories we don't want to tell. All right, I'm going to tell about uh, your your coat. Uh, you can if you want. Tell the goat. Okay. The, the, uh, well, let's see if you do any better on the coat story, considering you kind of, you know, mangled the goat story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Anyway, I was a single mom, and money was very tight. Mm-hmm. And I got him a bargain at Epstein's department store in, near Reisterstown Plaza. It was an, a dark navy blue coat. And uh, it's about all I could afford at the time. I, I ain't want and, that coat. Yeah. And coat was he hated the coat. Dork's coat, man. I ain't going to wear that coat. I told you I'm going to wear that coat. Told well, you. the next day, he comes home, no coat. The coat's gone. Where'd it go? And Dog. I was so gullible that I believed that he lost the coat. Yeah, I lost the coat. Lost it like a bad penny. And my friend Dan said, he didn't lose that coat. He threw it out. I said, no, he'd never do that. And I made him take Michael back up to school, and they, they looked for the damn coat. Yep. What did you do with that coat? Shit, I threw that coat away. That coat was gone. Yep. Mm -mm. I ain't have nothing to do with that coat. I should have let you freeze your ass off all year. Yeah, you should have. You should have. <laughs> <laughs> but you you were not. My, my mom was so nice. I, I Seriously, bless her wee cotton socks. Because, like, 
having to put up with me, having to raise a boy. She was she had a sister. She just you know she didn't have her dad like you know well you know grandpa Mike died early. She didn't really know how to even emulate a man. You know what I mean to be to be that that kind of a figure. So and I just man I rolled all over you. I'm so sorry. That's all right. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. Your stepfather saved your butt a lot. Yeah. My yeah, late he husband, did. Dan. Yeah. He, when I was going to brain him and I'd be chasing him around the house, he'd say, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's what boys do. He, he had orthopedic shoes on. I had to wear orthopedic shoes because he was born with funny feet. I, mean, I was goddamn and, Forrest Gump when I was younger. It was sad. <laughs> and and uh they cost me back in the in, back in the day thirty five dollars a pair, which today would be like almost a hundred bucks a pair comparably yeah and this this little stooge used to go down to the creek near, in the back of our apartment and he would walk in the creek with his shoes, right yeah, and I asked him to put on his tennis shoes before he went. No, no. Mom, he do that. those crayfish so, aren't going to catch themselves. And he still has athlete's foot today. No, he doesn't. <laughs> no, he doesn't. No? No, he discovered he discovered Lotrimin, and he knows how to spray it, and he knows how to wear alternating shoes and socks and, 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 and wash his ass and all the kinds of stuff. Man, I'm telling you, Mom, I've come a long way since that Thank day. Thank God. Yeah. Thank God. So anyway, uh, that same damn creek, he used to bring things in the house. Well, I didn't know he was stealing things from the creek and bringing it in the hey, house. One it's not day, stealing I if it's the environment. The I walked in the house after a long day of work, and it smelled like I don't. I couldn't even describe a, how bad it smelled in that house. A goat's ass. <laughs> yeah, you would know. So um, anyway, I went. In, I knew exactly what room to look in, and I just opened up the drawer, and there were three dead minnows and a dead crayfish in his chest of drawers. That's right. Yeah. Well, don't. Well, that happened twice because there was a time when I had all those, uh, all those, um, what do you call them? Frog things. I guess they were. Were they minnows? What were they called, Mom? Tadpoles. The tadpoles. That's what it was. So yeah, I had like a. And I'm the old I, one. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I hold. I I heard you. I had. There must have been forty or fifty. Like we tried to get like all of them out of this like big puddly thing that was on the side of the road, and uh, yeah, I I had about forty or fifty of them, and uh, evidently, evidently they take kindly to being fed, and being um, uh not left uh, to dry out in water with well you can't dry out in water but uh, they they dried out and evidently they uh they start to stank after a while and that's that's just what they done did oh they stank <laughs> oh yeah yeah. Watch his ass. <laughs> what they say? I was just listening. I was just watching people catch up. I was reading the chat. The chat. Uh, okay. God, your feet used to smell so bad. I know, Pete. I know. Come <laughs> on, it's gotten much better, right? I mean, I've gotten so much better. Oh my God. So yeah, Pete remembers when I. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this out there because I feel like I can now since I don't do it anymore. But yeah, I mean, I used to just. I mean, and anyone who has an athlete's foot probably knows this. Come on, Dave. You know, you know, you do this too. Like, you know, you, you use your sock. You know that, that part of your sock. And you're just like, <laughs> <laughs> Pete used to be like, "Come on, man, what are you doing?" <laughs> he used to do that all the time with me. <laughs> yeah, I know where that habit came from, and I'm not going to say a word. Good. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, sins of the father. Yeah. High five, Mama Marsh. What? You were like a future serial killer as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> David, David did the same thing with the tadpoles. Uh, oh, yeah. Science fact. <laughs> I learned frogs drowned. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, my God. That is funny. 
Yeah, well, so I that's that. I never had a dull moment with him, ever. No, no, you didn't. And I got it. Now, Ma, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw this out there right now. If there's anything that most that I apologize for as a child, uh, yes, ruining shoes, but, you know, I used to be obsessed as a child with model rockets and gluing shit, you know, like model model planes and sh- and stuff. And, uh, you know, that, which is great, which is great, right? It keeps kids out of your hair. But evidently, uh, there's the there's this little thing about getting model airplane glue and stuff on your mom's furniture. And she gets all worked up about this furniture that she bought. And we don't have a lot of money. And, we, you know, we're just... So I'm sorry. I'm sorry for ruining the furniture numerous times and not putting my paper down like I was supposed to. I apologize. That's okay. When I look back on it now, I love every minute of it. Well, that's on you. <laughs> no, I did not <laughs> huff it, Jonathan. I didn't huff paint. Jesus Christ. You have me being some real bad deviant. I was just a kid. You want to talk about the paint huffing? Let's you know you got to get Pete back on, okay? He was the all, one that did whippets. All I asked Mike to do was to put newspapers down on the coffee table when he was gluing his things. That's I used right. to buy those models for him. <laughs> well, evidently, you didn't buy enough uh, uh, newspaper, so I could uh, put it down. I guess I don't know. Oh, very poor, Mike. Very poor. <laughs> Hey, my fault for you, Mom. My fault for you, all right? Uh. <laughs> all right, I think we're going to wrap it up, though. I huffed gasoline once when I was 10. <laughs> that who do you, Out of anyone in the in the chat room, Mom, who do you think that came from? Pete. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and he did whippets at the, at the beach. But the whippet story, Pete, we got to add that to the list of stories because that would be a good one for you to tell. Um... And let's see, who could afford newspaper? Exactly. I had to wear them on I had to wear those on my shoes as as shoes. Oh, please. <laughs> All right, guys. I think we're gonna uh I think we're gonna tie it up here. It's been about we've been live now with Mama Marsh uh for like thirty two minutes. So uh, you know, at least, you know, we, we we had something here for you. I don't know. Call it call me uh Call me sentimental or whatever, but I just feel like if some of you guys want to tune in, you take the trouble to, to tune in, I want to have something for you. So, uh, you know, it's certainly understandable. I'd never expected Pete to be here, and I knew there was going to be most likely a train wreck in the beginning anyway. So, you know, everyone everyone got what they expected, right? Pete was expecting a train wreck in the beginning, and, uh, you know, we were ending on a nice on a nice note. And, of course, oh, man, see, th- th- now, like, Jeff – you know, Jeff now gets it. Jeff and Slaney, and hey, Jeff. Um, but we're getting ready to end it. But you know, go back and go back and listen. We were just talking to my mom. Um, say hi to Jeff, mom. You, you've seen hi, him Jeff. on the show too. He's the one who does. Uh, oh my God! See now, I'm gonna I'm gonna get it wrong because it's uh, the source swords and sorcerers something of Hyperborea. So I'm sorry. I know I got it all wrong. But um, put it in the chat room, Jeff. And uh, Let's see, uh, and I'll, I'll even give you a link, give you a shout out. Um, I'm, I'm writing a science fiction story. You are? Oh, shit. What is it about? Well, a lot of the people in the Mythwits inspired me. Really? Yeah. I'm, I'm uh, doing character studies, and I have part of my story arc already done. You don't even want to give a little taste? Well... No. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. When you have when you have like a, a you know, some some part of the book done and you want to like just give a, a little reading, maybe we'll let you come on the show and you can do a reading from it. Yeah, it, it's probably going to be an anthology. All right, one step at a time. Short stories. <laughs> okay. And connect go. in some way. There yeah. you go. I love Mythwits. I love all the people that watch it, all the all the people you have on. I look forward to it every Monday evening at nine o'clock. And I just want to thank all of you for letting me be part of it. It's just a very sweet in, a space in my heart that I hold for all, all of you. Oh, thanks, Mom. You're we know welcome. we know you're generous. I mean, we know we know you're genuine too, and I love you. 
I don't even have to say that. I don't have to, but I do. I do. I love her. Mom, my mom, I love my mom so much. I'm going to put this out there that she actually within, you know, sometime in the future when she's ready to move up back up to Baltimore, she's in North Carolina that, uh, Myself and uh, whoever I may be living with uh, sometime in the future are uh, going to be uh, welcoming, welcoming mom with us, too, and we're all going to live together. So that's, I mean, that's, uh, you know, you got to do something right as a mom to have your son welcome you back, you know. Not because, you. Not because you have to, I'll welcome you back, right? Not because you have to, I have to, but I want to. So there's that, right? Mike is my best friend, not there just my go. son. There you go. All right, Mom. I love you. And, love you, guys. And uh, thank you for watching uh, this this just impromptu little thing. And uh, well, like I said, we have Starla Hutchton uh, next week. And uh, we'll be talking about her new book. So please, please tune in. Uh, and... Uh, I would read the whole thing about, you've just watched another exciting episode of The Mythwits, but I don't think technically this is an episode. I mean, you know, I don't think this is going to be an episode. Maybe this will, you know what we're going to do? We're probably going to download this video. We're going to cut it together, uh, a bunch of different parts of it. You know, maybe we'll, we'll make a little short of it, you know, some of the stories and stuff. Maybe this will be like a Mythwits special or something, because uh, I think there's, there is definitely some, uh, some interesting parts to this. So um, we'll do that. And for that, I will say good night and goodbye. Say good, good say, say good night, mom. Good night, mom.